Did you get so the side cute. over here? Too? Yeah. I wanted to make something that was kind of Latin, Mexico, Peru, Southwestern-ish, and I, I had no idea what it was going to look like, but I started with an ammo box. This is a big ammo box I bought at ar the army store, and this is the lid. And when I, when I first started making it, I thought I would make one out here, and then I would take, I would take the lid and I would put it back here to make a backdrop for this scenery. I wanted to make kind of a diorama thing, and so I started putting it together, and it just kept falling apart, falling up, falling down. I thought that is so stupid, so I put it away for about two months. And then I brought it back out again, and I realized I don't need a lid back here. I just need one here. And it's so interesting how, how if I just put something away for a couple months, then my brain works on it and fixes the problem, whatever it is. So I started with the ammo box, and then I wanted it to look... <laughs> It's kind of funny, like Zorro. So, the movie Zorro and all this, the um, amazing architecture in that movie. So that's why I made this stuff back here in the back. These arches. <clears throat> yeah, that's why I made the arches in the back, and the um, the palisades, I guess the the corridors and and things and I used um, you want to see what I used yeah <laughs> totally okay I used this I have <clears throat> this was a spice rack where you have four four of these. Do you know, have you ever seen one of these? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're just, they're like this and they have a base which is kind of like this. So it's sitting on a base on the bottom and top and it also spins. Anyway, yeah, so you stick your spices in there. <clears throat> so I just cut it off. I cut it in half. And I used half of it there, and then I used the other half this over here? there, yeah. And the things in between are these Jenga blocks. Or something like them for the columns. And then these right here are checkers. Either red or black checkers. Oh, that's funny. You just like to take apart those games, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> awesome. They're wooden, and um, I like wood the best. But And these back here, these were some coaster um, cases, I guess. These two things, that one and that one. You just stick, sit your coasters in them, and they, they slide in the slots and... And then um, this back here, this is a, a cup and let's see, toothbrush holder bathroom fixture. And I just cut that in half to make the arch there in the little holes. I think that's pretty fun. Yeah, that's the other half. Yep. I use a lot of blocks. Let's see, here's my box of stuff. So we'll just go around here, I guess, and 
find where I used the blocks. Right there, these that's this that's this block right here. And I rounded the corners to make it softer. And I don't have any more of these. This is a an arch for the block. Oh well, yeah, this is tiny. I used this all one. my arches apparently. So it's just like this. You know, that's obvious. And I used a, a triangle block for that. And I had to make it Sometimes I will sand some of it off because this is more narrow than this one because it needed to be more narrow so it looked better. And I just rounded off the edges. There's a block. That's another one like this. I just glued it down. And this door came off of a chest, little wooden chest that had hinges on it. So that's why it's so ornate. I did not carve it. <laughs> it came like that. These um, blocks are these. Actually, something like that. That's this type of block. And then again, I used those rectangular prisms. And I used apparently all of my round columns because I have no more. <laughs> and that is just a smaller block I cut in half to make these two. Then I painted them this awesome color. So that's how I use the blocks. And then back over here, well, I'll just show you these tile looking things. Those were pretty fun to make. I just used block like this. And I used blocks like this, and I I cut them in half. Probably cut it in thirds, but I don't know. I was I'm I'm lucky I didn't cut my fingers off. But anyway, so that's the tile. And I learned how to tile myself by using blocks and polydrons and um, tiled my bathroom just by playing with blocks pretty fun. So that's where I use my block. Similar though. It's not the same, but yeah, this balcony is really cool. It was made with handles. These are two identical handles from something. I don't know what. And then I had this art already. This um, one back here. Orange one. Yeah, the, the orangish one. That's the coral color, I guess. That's, I love this color. This color I got from Zorro. <laughs> I love their coral color. Um, so I used that as the art, and then this fit exactly on the art. I did not cut it at all. Um, this was a tambourine, so this is half of a tambourine. And then down here, you saw the blocks, and then this this was a curio, or you know, I don't know what to call it, a shelf that you put on the wall. It's this whole thing. It comes up here. It comes up all the way over here. That stair was already made. I didn't make it. I just used it. I don't make anything, hardly, except a few gears. So I made that. I mean, I didn't make it. <laughs> I put that in. That's awesome. So now you're in the house. Um, I have little tile pieces here. Again, I love the little stoves in Southwestern Homes, Mexico, whatever. And this just happened to be... <laughs> this is a nutcracker. And you put the nut in there, and then you screw it down, like this one. I have a couple of these, but I don't have any more like that pop belly stove one. So you just, it's two pieces, it screws out like this. I don't know who makes these, but they're kind of awesome. I don't know if anyone uses them. I found them at DI, so apparently somebody wasn't using them. So you put your nut in here, and then you just screw it down until it cracks. I think they're pretty cool, and I, I've used them for several things like a periscope and a ship and oh, pot cool. belly stove or a 
an earthen stove, I suppose. Anyway, so that's that. And I just put this little box back here. It just, things just fit. It's a, it's almost like a little dollhouse. So that's just a negativity I made from shells from Rhode Island and I just stuck it in there. I haven't taken it out yet. It's cute. <laughs> anyway, I'll just take that out. I got these from Ecuador. I'll just take these out too. These are my nativity from Ecuador. They just stay in there all the time. Did you make this? No, I don't make anything, I tell you. <laughs> that is uh, just a, a shell doily. Uh, that's probably a coaster for this. And that's my my little fountain. Here's, this is what I used, and I don't have another one of these, but this was a bowl. This hat says Hawaii on it. Somewhere it says Hawaii. Oh, um, right there. Right there. So that bowl's from Hawaii. It ended up at DI, too. And then I stuck a oh, yeah. spool, wooden spool in there, and then this little bowl is on top of that, and then this is a nutcracker. That's the top of a nutcracker bowl. You put little toothpicks in here, I think, and then you put the nut picks in there. It probably came with the nutcracker, I don't know. Anyway, there you go, that's that. I don't know what this is, I think it's a candle holder, but it looked like, uh, pottery base. And this I found just like that. It's really cool looking. And this too. So I just put them in here. This used to have cactuses in it. Little tiny cacti. Cacti all over the place. It was so cute. I have photos of that. This great big arch. Is... That's a rolling pin. That's awesome. And this, it, it looks like a letter holder because it's flat, like it's supposed to hook on the wall. And then it's got these little slots in it. So it's upside down, turn it upside down, stick it on the wall, and then you just put your letters that came in the mail that day. Put all your junk mail in here because that's all that comes in the mail anymore. This arch was a clock and these were the it looked like that. These were all together. I still have the other half of it. I cut it in half for a ship or like a, like the bow of a ship. And these were from a mouse. Mouse's arms is what they are. Not that it matters, but there was a little... Crafty mouse. Yeah, a crafty mouse, and I just used those arms. But the reason I... I put this arch here is because in Ecuador we went down the hill from our <clears throat> apartment and there w was a ruin of a guard house. It looked out all over this huge valley and this guard house um, had the arch left standing and then part of the walls and the arches back in the colonial periods in Mexico and, and Central and South America, every everywhere that the Spaniards were. Um, they built these arches that were tall enough for a, a horse with a man riding on top. So they're really tall oh. arches. And that's that's why I put this in here because I mean arches are all over in the in, in that type of um, architecture, but uh, that's why they're so tall. So I just thought that was cool.